All right, so let's take a look at uh, the next step of our um, head setup process. And basically, when we're working on uh, this style of head, a uh, uh, fly bar head or a CCPM, we're basically working from the bottom up. So I have the links um, adjusted between the uh, servo arms and the swash. And remember, we got this geometry down here near the bottom uh, where we wanted it. Now what I want to look at is the, uh, the fly bar cage. Um, and how um, these links from the swash to the fly bar cage are, uh, are set up. And that will help us fix our pitch problem. So right now, um, if I have the fly bar pretty much perpendicular to the main shaft, which is where that is, um, you might be able to see, adjust this just a little bit. you might be able to see that I'm, I've got just a little bit of pitch angle there. As a matter of fact, we can uh, really demonstrate this by sticking a driver through here. And I'll hold that uh, perpendicular. So this angle of this driver is basically how our pitch, how far our pitch is off of zero. Now what you'll also see is right here, this little arm is kind of popping up. Uh, above that plane of the fly bar cage. So you have the fly bar cage here, and then you've got this other arm that is a little bit of an angle, kind of like that, right behind it. And you can see it popping up here. That is a uh, direct relationship with our pitch. So um, what I want to do is adjust these links to get that uh, pushed down a little bit. And when that does push down, that should allow our angle of our uh, blade grip pitch to straighten out a little bit. So um, there are plenty of ways to do this. This is just my way. Um, they do make fly bar locks that will lock this fly bar in place. But the good news is for the most part it's fairly well balanced so uh, it's pretty easy to just kind of let it uh, let it settle. Just make sure it's exactly perpendicular to the main shaft for all of your measurements. Because as you can see, any movement you do at the fly bar impacts those things that we're looking at right now. So uh, what I want to do is, uh, is lower these links, it looks like, just a little bit. And then we'll see what we come up with. Alright, so uh, as you can see, um, I've made some adjustments. And uh, basically I ended up turning five whole turns on each of those links. And uh, I still have my driver uh, stabbed down through the, uh, the blade grip hole. And basically with my fly bar at uh, perpendicular to my main shaft, and you can see that uh, all this geometry back here is fairly well in line. And then also my driver, which is indicative of my uh, zero pitch setting uh, appears to be perpendicular but if I take that out of there just so you can see the uh, the fly bar and then its relationship to the main shaft uh, hopefully that uh, helps and again this is a different blade grip by the way let's just see how that looks make sure my uh, fly bar is level and other than the uh, the poor angle there you go. You can see exactly what I'm seeing. And that's what we're shooting for. So that is, uh, got us to the point now. By the way, my, my uh, heli is turned on. It's got power uh, so that my um, servos are at 90. Uh, so these are locked in. So basically what you're looking at is uh, we have uh, adjusted these links to get this geometry where we wanted it. We've adjusted these links to get this geometry where we wanted it. And uh, in theory, um, all of that should equate to a fairly level swash. We, we can make some fine tuning adjustments, hopefully a zero pitch setup or, or close to it on the uh, blade grips. So the other thing I want to do is take a look at uh, how much total range I have 
um, basically making sure that I've got plenty of range uh, of motion because we did make some adjustments to move that swash up or down. So without even getting into swash mixing, I just want to take a look, make sure I'm not binding anywhere, and I'm not. Uh, let's see if we can figure out what that uh, pitch angle is. All right, so taking a really l rough look at this, uh, I just put a gauge on the uh, on the blade grip. I'm looking at the bottom number here, where I have it sort of what zeroed, uh, you know, roughly zeroed. It's pretty close. Uh, I'm going to try and hold that fly bar um, at its uh, horizontal position, and then I'm just going to check the uh, the blade grip pitch, uh, low and high. So low, somewhere around 11. And then high, I'm looking like I'm about 10-ish. So it looks like I have some room to go there. Uh, but it's fairly equal, uh, which is kind of what I'm looking for. So yeah, I think that'll be good. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually uh, go through the, uh, the full uh, head setup using the... Uh, the Soko uh, Heli Kit, which you're seeing a little bit of a demonstration here, uh, just roughly. Um, I'm going to go through the whole setup, um, show you how to uh, get the main shaft uh, completely perpendicular, um, uh, regardless of what type of work surface you're on, uh, so that we can check the, uh, the blade uh, grips, check swash level, all that good stuff uh, we'll do uh, in the next video series with the Soko uh, Heli Kit. Uh, but that basically gets me where I wanted to be uh, up until that point. So uh, I've done a lot of eyeballing, um, and now I will use the gauge to uh, confirm, tweak, fine-tune, and then make some, uh, some final adjustments in the radio. So that's it, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.